Hi, I'm Dave, and today we're going to be looking at part four of the beginner's guide of the Machina Mark III, looking at these 16 pads here. Let's go. Let's jump straight into it. We've got undo, redo, step undo, step redo, quantize, quantize 50%, Nudge back, nudge forwards, clear, clear auto, copy, paste, semitone minus, semitone plus, octave minus, and octave plus. Now, some people might think that's self explanatory, but let's go through them anyway so you know exactly what they do. First, let's load up a track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear so we can start with a fresh pattern. Let's start from the beginning, because that's always a good place to start. And we'll need to look at undo. So let's hit a bass drum. Okay, and I want to undo it. Hold shift and number one. Now all the words on these pads, you need to hold shift and press the pad to get the function to work. So we've done undo. But if we just hold shift and redo, it brings back the bass drum. Now let's put the bass drums over all four beats. Don't worry that they're not perfectly in time at the moment. Now, if I was to press shift and undo, that would remove all of them because I did them in one section. But if I hold shift and step undo, it does the last one. So if for instance, you did seven perfect beats and you did the eighth one wrong, you don't have to keep doing them. You can just get the last one in again. And again, you can do the next one and the next one, or you can step redo, 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 redo. This is really handy when you're doing intricate beats and you've just got the last thing wrong. Alternatively, you could just, let me get rid of all this. You could do it in more than one section, but unfortunately it's a bit of a longer way round. So you can do this. So now if I pressed undo, it would undo the last section because I pressed record twice. Those are your bottom four. The next line, we've got quantize. For those of you who haven't used quantize, it's a really, really good thing. If like me, you haven't got your beats in time, all you need to do is press your shift and hit quantize and they snap back. That's really nice. But now we know the buttons, let's press shift and undo. And what we can do is we can actually do a quantize 50%. Now with the quantize 50%, it is for making it sound a bit more natural. So um, if I was to play the hi-hat, really, it wouldn't be 100% perfect. It would be, it would move slightly. So what this does is it gives it a more natural feel. I'm going to press record and play. And I'm going to use the tambourine. Now, instead of going completely quantized, which would look like this, okay, and sound like this, Not quite what I had, so I'm just going to do shift and undo. I'm going to play it again. And what it's going to do is quantize it to 50%, not 100. So I'm going to press shift and quantize there. Now it's moved it where it thinks it wants to go. So nice pattern, not quite what I wanted either, but it's there to be moved around. You can manipulate it. And 50% is really nice when you're playing keys um, and just melodic things like that as well to push and pull guitars, just so it's not completely structured. Now, say for instance, I do want to nudge one of them in and out. This is the best way that I've found. There's lots of different ways of doing this, but this is the best way I've found. So on here, we've got nudge left and right. Now, what I do is I like to put it in step mode so I can see it at the top here. And I'm going to use... Uh, this controller over here and I'm going to select the one I want. Now this one here is not where I want it to be. So I could delete it and put it back in. Okay. And this one here, let's just say if I want to nudge this one. So all I need to do now is hold shift and nudge it and it nudges along. Now it does nudge on the, um, a certain size. It's quite handy. Now, if you really want to hone in on it, just hold shift and then move the position there. Say for instance, I get to the end of the beat. 
I can then press shift nudge and it will move it closer. If I want to get it to the beginning of the beat, but over to the top, I can just nudge that over and I can even quantize just that one because I've selected just that one. So they are the nudges. Next row up, we've got clear. Now I covered this in a response video um, to my lesson two of the beginners machine up three, um, but I'm just going to go over it again. We can just make sure nothing's selected and then we can just press shift and clear. Therefore it gets rid of everything in that pattern. If there is something selected, you'll, that will just remove the one thing. So if I go back to undo and I want to go and select uh, this one here, I can then press shift and clear and it'll only remove that one so you don't need to go anywhere near your keyboard. With clear auto, I haven't got an example of it yet, but it clears automation. So if you're moving things like filters and effects and all different bits and pieces in record, that will clear all your automation. And that will be for a later video. With copy and paste, it does exactly what it says. We can copy something. So if we are selecting this one, I can copy it and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. Okay, and again, obviously I can undo that. I can step undo, but because we're only doing one at a time, that's not a problem. You can redo it as well. And you can paste anything anywhere. So you can move that and again, hit copy and then paste it. So you can get an even distribution with it. With the top row, we've got semitones plus and minus and octaves plus and minus. Now the best way to do it is put it in keyboard mode. Now don't get confused that if you look on the um, door, we've got the instruments here, but we're not looking at the instrument because that's in the pattern. We're looking at the keyboard. So what we're going to do is select the one we want, hold shift and go up and down a semitone. Now it's not going to affect the instrument. So even though that one now says uh, number two, or you can go down there, looks like Tom or chord, it won't actually do that because once you take it out of keyboard, it actually doesn't add or change this up and down. If I just do a couple, you can do octaves and semitones. So if we move over one and I can go down one, uh, octave up, uh, octave up and a couple of semitones down. So you can then play it. Yes, it sounds horrible, but that was just a demonstration. So you get the idea. Now, you might think, well, why why do this video? Well, this is a complete beginner's guide and I'm going to be doing everything from the ground up. And these videos are for adding one element to the next. And the more you know on here, the less you need to go to the keyboard and the computer. So it's really, really good for that. The fact that, you know, you can undo steps, undo quantize nudges clears, copy and pastes and octave jumps and stuff is really, really easy. So once you combine them all together, you know, you get a really good performance tool, not just a producing tool. Hope that's helped. Catch me next time for the next part of our beginner's guide on Machinimark 3. See you then.